In this video tutorial, I'll show you how you can automate sharing intelligence with leadership and operations teams by using Feedly's Threat Intelligence API. You'll learn how to generate your API key, find your stream ID, and perform your authenticated HTTP request. With Feedly's REST API, you can automate ingesting enriched articles to your TIP, SIEM, or SOAR tools via STIX 2.1, send customized notifications to Slack or Teams, or automate ticket creation in your ticketing management software. Let's get started. For our first step, let's generate your API key. To do this, you'll need to be an administrator on the account that has API access. Simply navigate to the Manage Teams section in Feedly and click on API. Then click on New API Token to name and generate your API key. This key is only viewable one time, so make sure to copy and store it in a safe place. Next, let's find the stream ID of the list of articles that we want to fetch. The stream ID is a unique identifier for your specific team folder, team board, or AI feed. Let's choose a team folder for this example. Click on the team folder that you'd like to pull articles from, then click on the three dots in the top right hand of the screen, and click Sharing. Here you'll find your stream ID. Copy the ID to use for your request later. Lastly, let's perform our authenticated HTTP request to get the list of articles. To test this call, I'm going to use our developer API website, which allows you to test your API calls alongside our documentation. On this page, you'll see there's some additional parameters for you to use for your call. The parameters that we can use are stream ID, count, newer than, continuation, and include AI actions. The stream ID is required, and it's the ID that we copied in step number two. Let's paste that in here. Count is an optional parameter, and it's the number of articles that we wish to return. You can usually select between one and 100. For this exercise, let's just pick five. Newer than is an optional parameter, and it's a Unix epoch long timestamp in milliseconds that allows us to return only articles that are newer than this parameter. Continuation is an ID that's used to page through the articles. If there's more than 100 articles that you've returned in the stream, the server will return a continuation ID that you can use to continue to fetch articles. For more information about continuation, visit the continuation guide in the API documentation. Include AI actions is a Boolean operator. When true, any AI actions that were performed on the articles that we're going to pull in will be returned here. Now that we've set up our parameters, let's head up to the Try It section of the page. As you can see, there are several programming languages supported here that will allow us to test our API call. I'm going to choose Python. All of the parameters that we filled out are already mapped inside the Try It section. But before we click Try It, let's make sure to paste the API key that we generated in Step 1. Now let's click Try It and see if our parameters are correct. And there you have it. Our API call has returned a JSON response containing metadata from the five articles that we requested. You can view the article JSON data structure page in the API documentation to learn more about how to process the JSON or watch the next video in this series about how to process the JSON response. In conclusion, Feedly's API streamlines your cybersecurity collection process, enabling efficient threat intelligence integration. By automating workflows and utilizing AI-enriched data, you can empower your teams to quickly identify, share, and respond to cybersecurity threats, ensuring proactive and effective protection.